Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Christian Quinones versus Ronnie Barcelos. Christian Quinones, 18 wins, 4 losses, 4-1 and one in his last 5 fights. That 1 loss is against uh, Kung, Kung Ho Kang, who didn't look very good in his last matchup. After I wasn't picking him, and then I picked him because I don't ever pick him and he wins, and then I pick him and he loses. Nah, okay, whatever. Plus 145 underdog, 27 years old, 5'8 with a 70-inch reach. Came into the UFC against Kali Taha destroyed him his counter ability his striking accuracy his power looked really really good and then he looked bad ronnie barcelo 17 and 5 1 and 4 in his last five fights you tell me five fights ago after the kurt holovo or the fight after i believe he even won that he'd go on a one he'd go one and four in his last five fights i tell you no way minus 175 under a favorite 36 years old, 5'8", with a 72-inch reach. Two-inch reach advantage for Ronnie Barcelos. I actually like uh, Cu uh, Christian Quinieres in this matchup. Ronnie Barcelos, I just don't think at 36 years old, can continue to take that punishment. Again, he's on a two-fight losing streak. 6-4 and four in his la six and four in the UFC in 10 fights. Um, probably his last fight on his contract, to be honest. You know... 10 finishes out of his 17 wins. He's been finished two times now, one by submission, one by punches. Obviously, we know the one by punches uh, against Umar Nurmagomedov. Didn't really get to see a whole lot in that matchup. I do think in a longer matchup with a younger version of Barcelos, it's a, it's a fun fight. I'm not saying it's crazy competitive or that Barcelos would win, but it's a fun fight. That fight ended very early. Now, Christian Carnunez... Fighting at 135 and having the speed, the power, the striking that this man has looked incredible against Taha. Again, it's Taha, sure. You know, 13 finishes out of 18 wins. He has only been finished. He's never been to a decision. So expect this fight to be finished inside the distance with both of these guys. You know, so has been finished twice by punches, which again is interesting. You know, as also has been submitted before, fought on the contender series against a pretty good guy at 22 and six. Kali Taha was 13 and four, not terrible, but again, getting really outclassed against Kung Ho Kang. So, I, I do like him. I don't think Ronnie Barcelos necessarily scares me in the way that I would rethink the Kang matchup. Uh, because of Kang's ability to get a hold of people, except for his last fight. I'm not bitter, sorry. <laughs> but I think uh, uh, Christian Quinones finishes Ronnie Barcelos. And I wouldn't be surprised if Barcelos retires after this, or at least gets cut from the UFC. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Actually, let's real quick, let's look at da, 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 Barcelos right here. Strikes landed per minute, 5.23 to 5.38, basically the same. Accuracy is 42 to 51. Strikes absor absorbed per minute, 5.13 to 5.03. Defense, 59 to 61. Takedowns, 1.8 to about 1. Takedown accuracy is 100 to 37. Defense is 85 to 90. So again, I do think speed and more well-rounded is Ronnie Barcelos, but I think the straight power and the straight combinations and the boxing from Quinones is going to be the difference in this matchup. Let me know what you guys are thinking, and as always, see you in the next one.